Oh, oh my goodness, it's that time again. GP, where are you? He's up here, Happy. Oh, oh my, oh, I'm under control, I'm under control. You know what wind is. Sure you do. Wind is what blows the curtains when you open the window. Maybe, maybe that's why they call it a window. <laughs> maybe. Anyway, wind is everywhere. Sometimes quiet, sometimes noisy. Wind can blow softly, gently. Or wind can really blow really strut his stuff, and really blow. Well, you want to keep on the right side of wind. Most of the time, wind is a terrific friend, a real pal. Wind helps birds fly, helps boats sail, keeps you cool in summer, blows the snow in winter. Wind does all kinds of work, but wind also likes to play, just like you do. And every year, the riverbank animals have a contest with the wind, sort of a, a game, like a tug of war to see who is the strongest. Now, most of the time, wind is a good sport and lets Hammy and his friends feel like they're winning. But this one time, after a lot of getting ready, the animals were in for a real surprise. You'll be surprised too when you see this one. Are you ready? Okay, here we go with the contest with the wind. It was a fine, sunny morning on the riverbank, and breezy, too. The wind was whistling its familiar song through the leaves of the trees, just to remind Hammy and his friends that contest day was approaching. Meanwhile, Hammy was visiting at the home of his good friend Martha Mouse, sharing a pot of tea and talking about the big contest. Boy, boy, I'm really looking forward to the contest, Martha. Me too, Hammy, but wind is just so strong. Well, there must be something we can do. You know, maybe if we had a better kite. Well, I, I don't know too much about kites, Martha, but I, I'd love to help. Hey, maybe we could use your table for a kite. My table? Oh, Hammy, how can we make my table into a kite? Well, I'll just, I'll just turn it over. Looks pretty strong. I, I could hang onto this leg here. I don't think it's a kite without a string. I've got some knitting wool. We can use that. Oh, knitting wool. Knitting wool is great, Martha. Let's, let's tie it onto this leg here. And so, Martha and Hammy set about making Martha's table into a kite. And you know, a funny thing, but it almost started to look like a pretty good kite, too. Then, Hammy, being a strong little hamster, pulled the table kite out of Martha's house and all the way up the hillside. And Martha followed along. Excuse me, Mr. Wind, can, can you help us test our new kite? Be careful, Hammy. Oh, don't worry, Martha. I, I, whoops. Oh, <laughs> oh my, oh my. Oh, our table kite seems to be a table raft. I, uh... Don't worry, Hammy. Don't worry, I'll save you. Oh, I'm not worried, Martha. I. Well, maybe a little bit worried. I, I seem to be floating away. I just have to get this engine started. I'll be right there. Oh, please, please hurry, Martha. I can't steer this thing. I'm coming, Hammy. Here I come.
Oh, please hurry, Martha. I, I don't know how to stop. Hang on, Hammy. I'm on my way. I, I wonder where this river will take me. Somewhere else, I guess. Wherever somewhere else is. Now, where did that hamster get to? He's got to be around here somewhere. Hammy! I, I'm over here, Martha. Over here. I can't see you, but I can hear your voice. Call again. Martha, hurry. Hurry, I'm going faster. Martha! Martha! Oh, there you are. I see you now. Hang on, I'll be right there. Here I am, Hammy. Don't worry. Oh, oh thanks, Martha. I, I was almost somewhere else. It sure feels good to be back on your boat. So Martha grabbed the line, and together they towed the table all the way back upstream. Oh, oh, Martha, I, I think we're almost there. The table is right behind us. Now we'd better get this table out of the water. Let's see. How are we going to lift it out? Dry land. Oh, oh boy, do I ever like dry land. I'll grab the end of the string. I guess I'd better wash my face. It must be almost lunchtime. Help me with the string, Hammy. I've got it. I At least I think I do. Pull, Hammy. Oh, well, uh, uh, I'm pretty strong. I'm pretty strong, Martha. I'll just carry it on my back. Oh, thank you, Hammy. Do you need any help? Uh, I'm okay, Martha, but I am getting hungry. You're almost there, just a little further. Just a little further, then you can have lunch. Oh, boy, I made it. Lunchtime. Yahoo! And Martha went off to see Wise Old Frog to ask his advice about kites. You tried to use a table as a kite? <laughs> but it didn't work, and Hammy landed in the river. What can we do, Mr. Frog? We really need a new kite for a contest. Well, a table's too heavy for a kite, Martha. Go talk to GP. He's always good at designing things. Thank you, Mr. Frog. And off went Martha Mouse to see GP, the great inventor. Hello, GP. Anybody home? Home? Of course I'm home. I'm a great inventor, and great inventors are always home, aren't they? Well, uh, well, I guess they are, except when they're not, of course. That is, uh, anyway, what can I do for you, Martha? You could help design a kite. A kite! A kite! You must be reading my mind. You must be picking up my usual genius vibrations. Have I got a design for you? Are these the plans? Oh, the plans. Yes, yes, the plans. Plans, blueprints, white prints, blueprints, every color print you like. I've got everything here. They look very complicated. Well, of course they're complicated. I'm a complicated guinea pig. There are so many, I don't know which to well, choose. Here's the best one, Martha. The best tasting one, anyway. Mm. I like this one. It's beautiful. That's what I was going to say. It's the best one by far. I'd better start building it right away. And don't forget, you got to call it the GP Special, and you need some fabric to cover it with. Thanks, GP. I sure hope I can find some fabric. Now, you know what luck is, don't you? Luck is when you really need something, and just when you need it, it comes your way. Well, the very next day, great big pieces of brightly colored fabric came floating down the river right in front of Martha's house. Now, Martha always picks things out of the river because she likes to keep the river clean. So, she picked up the fabric and laid it out to dry on the riverbank. Oh, look at my beautiful fabric. Now, why would anybody throw such lovely fabric in the river? Well, their loss, my gain. It'll make such a wonderful kite. There's yellow and pink and blue. Let's see if it's dry yet. It is. I'll take it inside and get right to work. Yes, it is lovely. And so Martha set about building the GP special. There's 
There's so much of it, I can't find my tools. Oh, here they are. First, I'll measure it. Now, carefully cut it. And pin it together. Now, where on earth is that sewing machine? Oh, here it is, right where I left it. Martha worked very quickly sewing the kite together. Hey, this is easier than I thought. This is fun. And just as Martha was finishing her sewing, GP's car was heading her way. Here I go, here I go. Oh, I love driving. Yippee! Oh, I'm going so fast. Just look at those trees. Zoom by. Oh, oh, maybe a little too fast. Help! I'm scared. I'm scared. Help! It's too fast. I'm going too fast. I'll slow down. That's what I'll do. Hey, wait a minute. I can't slow down. I love it too much. Yahoo! Oh, there's the road to Martha's house. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. This is really fast. Really fast. Martha, I'm here. Oh, GP, you're just in time. Just in time? Just in time for what? For lunch? No, just in time to see the GP special. It's almost finished. Well, first, I want you to look at the back of my car and check out my newest great invention. What is it? It's a hanging tool rack. Let me show you how it works. See, I can carry all my tools with me. I can take them out. That's terrific, GP. What else can you do? Well, I, I can put them right back, you see? Very nice. Now come inside and see the kite. My, oh, my, what bright colors. As anybody knows, the brighter the colors, the better the kite. It, it's absolutely beautiful. And you built it all with this uh, sewing machine? Yes, GP, I think it's a winner. I think this calls for a meeting. Yes, let's get everybody together to plan what we'll do. Uh, here's, here's how I think and I what a meeting it was. Martha, GP, Hammy, and Turtle all talking at once. Turtle, I think you should be the anchor man. Whatever you say, Martha. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I designed the GP special to have me as an anchor. But Turtle's heavier. Well, I'll gain some weight then. I want to be the anchor. Whatever you say, GP, you already have a heavy brain. Oh, my. How, how long is this meeting going to go on? Well, now all we have to do is get in shape for the contest. All right, everybody. Come on, let's get going. We're going to sing the exercise song. Don't just sit around, sit around doing nothing. Be wise, exercise a little every day. Don't just sit around, sit around doing nothing. Be wise, exercise a little every day. There, now that everybody's gone exercising, I, clever guinea pig that I am, must begin exercising myself. And I'm gonna exercise by eating. Hmm, delicious exercising, tasty exercising. Although it just might be that some of this here uh, exercising might need a little bit of ketchup every now and then. After all, I am at the end of the rope, making sure that we do not lose that kite. Oh, I'm going to be the anchor at the end of the rope. So, I want to be as heavy as I can. So I'm eating, eating, doing eating exercises. So I can be an anchor man. So I won't just sit around doing nothing. No, I'll be wise and exercise by eating every day. Hey, I wonder what Turtle is doing for his exercising. Well, here I am, running as usual. Oh, when I'm exercising, then I always seem to find that when I put my left foot forward, then my right foot's left behind. But 
If my right foot's left, then is my left foot right? I dream about this puzzle when I go to sleep at night. But I'm wise, I exercise a little every day. A left foot, other foot, oh don't worry right foot, you can come too. Hurry up right foot, exercise. Hammy's exercising. Yes, I'm on my way, and it's very clear that I'm traveling fast, but I'm staying right here. Yes, I'm staying right here because, because I always stay right where I was. And I won't just sit around, I will spin around, being wise, exercising every single day. Don't just sit around, sit around, doing nothing, being wise, exercise a little every day. Don't just sit around, sit around, doing nothing, being wise, exercise a little every day. The next morning, Martha directed everybody in putting the kite together. Everybody but GP, of course, because he was just a little bit late. Hey, I'm here, everybody. Let the contest begin. But where is wind? I don't feel any wind. Wind? A wind? Maybe a uh, wind slept in. Wind! A wind! But there was no sign of wind. Where was he? They certainly couldn't start the contest without him. Hey, come on, wind! Wake up! Wake up! Wait, I think I feel a breeze. Just then, wind arrived. The animals took their places on the string, and the kite flew up into the sky, and the contest began. Yay! Oh, oh yippee! <laughs> It's a good thing I did all that exercising. Wind blew and the kite pulled and pulled, but the animals held on. Whee! And wind blew even harder. And for a moment, it looked like the kite might fly away. But still, the valiant crew held onto the string. But then, suddenly, wind saw something that made him very angry. GP had tied the string to a stake in the ground, and that was cheating. So, wind blew even harder, and the stake started to move, and uh-oh, uh-oh, what happens if, if wind blows hard enough to... Look, wind has pulled the stake right out of the ground, and all the animals have fallen Ooh. off. All except Hammy, who flew high into the air, oh, afraid to help, let go. Help! Oh, Hammy! Hammy, hold on! Help! 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 Wind blew the kite way, way up and stuck it in the highest branches of a tree. Oh, help! Martha! Martha, help! Oh, my goodness! Help! Don't look down, Hammy! Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, Wind, I'm sorry! I, I, I mustn't look down. Oh, don't look down. Oh, don't look down. I promise I'll never cheat again. Hang on, hamster. Oh, please, please let me down, Wind. Please? Oh, Wind, please let him down. We're sorry. How can we make it up to you? And Wind blew a gust that made GP's tools rattle. And Martha ran right over to see them. Oh, oh, GP, sorry, Wind. Please let me down. Hey, hey, what if I build you some uh, wind chimes, just like my tools, so you can talk to us? Well, Wind liked that idea and decided that the guinea pig had learned his lesson. So, he shook the kite loose and gently lowered the hamster to the ground. Hey! Hey, who turned out the lights? Thank you, Wind. Are you all right, Hammy? Oh, I'm, I'm hungry. I is it lunchtime yet? Look here, everybody. I'm almost... Ow! 
Oh, I hit myself. My mighty brain just took a little vacation. Back at GP's house, the animals kept their promise to build some chimes so Wynn could talk to them. Can I help, GP? Wow, well, you don't need any help. Can I help too, GP? There, I'm almost done. I'm almost finished. Here they are, almost finished. Oh, they're beautiful, GP. Of course they are. They're GP special chimes, don't you know? Can you make them chime, GP? Okay, here goes, here goes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, I meant to do that. Yes, I did. Oh, oh, let's hang them up at my house, GP. I know Wynn's just gonna love them. Rat, rat, stupid ladder. It was the ladder's fault. And off they went to Hammy's boot house, all in GP's car. Well, faster, GP, faster. Oh, I love it. I love the speed. Slow down. I'm a great driver. Oh, maybe a little too fast, but the, that's because I have a speedy brain. And he loved the wind in his face and the trees rushing by. Ah, we're here. Where should we hang the chimes? Well, the GP special chimes have to go in a special place, Martha. I, I know, I know exactly where to put them. Oh, that's perfect, Hammy. I, I hope Wind likes them. Wind, Wind, are you there? Wind, oh Wind, do you like your chimes? And with that, wind blew, the chimes chimed, and Hammy, GP, and Martha knew they'd made their new friend happy. And wind agreed. And he was so happy with his chimes, he played all kinds of wonderful songs for Hammy. Songs about all kinds of things. Things like... <laughs> but that's another story.